Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 19. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, download this workbook, Business 210 Chapter 2, from my college website. Hey, we've been talking about frequency distributions and percent frequency distributions and column charts and pie charts. But we need to talk about other categories because all of those frequency distributions and other items had categories. But what happens? Um, when some of the counts are very small, you might want to combine them. Hey, here's our situation. We did this, we did the, our data, we did this in the last video. These are reasons that people were dissatisfied with the boomerang they purchased. Broken when thrown, bad finish, unattractive design. Now, when we do a little frequency distribution here of all the categories, we see that this rough wood and no instructions, these were pretty small. And in general, less than 5%, it's uh, uh, all right to combine them. Now, um, I added these up, and they're all equal to 100. And we want to see uh, over here how to create this other category. And of course, we'll make sure once we uh, combine some that they equal 100 also. Why? These are mutually exclusive categories. When you uh, check the box for broken when thrown, that's the only one. Your count only counts in this category, mutually exclusive. That also means you're only dating one person, right? You can only fit into one little slot. Hey, uh, let's go over here. I'm going to come up here. It looks like this column is not wide enough, so I'm going to double click between C and D. I'm also going to decrease the size of this right here. And what we want to do is um, do a count if and drag it down here. But here, we're going to have to do something slightly different. I'm going to highlight uh, these cells right here. And in the light colored cell at the top, I'm going to say equals count if. The range, I'm going to have to scroll over and get this whole range right here. I'm going to click in the top and then hold Control, Shift, and Down Arrow. Hit F4, that locks it, and it jumps our screen back up to where we're creating our formula. Now, comma, and I'm going to click right here. That's the criteria. It's going to count amongst those all, all those records and find count the number of bad finish. Close parentheses. And then because the whole range is highlighted and the cell is at the top, I'm going to hold Control and then Thank hit Enter. Now, this one we need to combine, too. We're going to have to do two if, count ifs. If I click in this cell and hit F2, there's one count if. Now, why can we use two count ifs and just add them? Because they're mutually exclusive categories. Now, I'm going to um, drag this down here just to do a little trick here. And then click in the cell and hit F2. Now, I want to uh, have my list over here. And I need rough wood and no instructions. So I'm going to double click that and click on that cell right there. Now, I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to highlight. You can go ahead and type it out if you want, but very carefully. And sometimes it's safer to do it up here. In fact, it's much safer. I'm going to highlight that and Control-C for um, copy. Click at the end. It's always safer to do it up here. Click at the end. And then I'm going to plus and Control-V for paste. And no way, that's the wrong cell here. So I'm going to double click it. You can double click cell references in the middle of formulas, and they will highlight. And then click on that. And that's how we do it. If you have uh, combining two or more categories, you just um, combine a bunch of count ifs and add them. And they will all add up correctly because they're if they're mutually exclusive categories. Now I want to add up all of these right here. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt equals and then Enter. And sure enough, there are 46. Now I'm going to check here. I'm going to do a relative frequency. I'm going to click and highlight all these cells. And in the light colored cell at the top, I'm going to say equals one cell to my left, a relative cell reference divided by the count total. And I'm going to lock it using my F4 key. And to populate all the highlighted cells with my formula, I hold Control and then Enter. I'm going to click right here and use my keyboard shortcut Alt equals and Enter. OK, I got it right. Those are, that's uh, how to do other categories with formulas. You just do two uh, pluses. Now, with a pivot table, let's go ahead and go back to our data set. you got to click in one cell only, and then go to Insert, ta Pivot Table, Pivot Table, or use your keyboard shortcut Alt NVT. I'm going to say existing location and click right here, click OK. Now, um, for a uh, frequency distribution like this, we only have one field. So I click and drag to the row labels. Boop, 
It gives me a unique list, and then click and drag to the values area. That's it. That's the trick for categorical data. I'll close that. I'm going to come down here. Ooh, I definitely want to change this uh, name here. I'm going to click right there, come up to the formula bar, and just delete everything and just say uh, dissatisfaction or reason for dissatisfaction. Uh, I'm going to click right here and say just how about count of dissatisfaction, get rid of all that. Then I'm going to come up here to between C and D and double click. Now how do you combine these two? You have to highlight both of them and right click and group. Oh, look at that. What did it do? It has a group. I don't like that name right there. I'm going to click right there and call this other. You can always do that with field names. You can just click and then hit Enter. Now, what did it do here? It, it, we have a, a funny format here, so it has two of these. I'm going to click right here, come up to Design, go out to Layout, and I'm going to go back. Usually, we like this tabular, but now I'm going to go back to Show Compact. And it does something funny here. It, it has uh, pluses, and we need to actually uh, minuses, which means it's expanded. We need to click on each one of those, and it's kind of tricky. You have to get that white pointy cursor there. Collapse. This is what we're doing, collapse. And there it is. That's how you can group two with a pivot table. Now, if you wanted um, percentages, you could do that. But that's all we wanted to see in this video is how to do formulas, two count ifs, and pivot table, you have to group. All right, we'll see your next trick.